Hello, and welcome to the Layer 2 Show. Today, we're talking to Alan from Boba Network. He is the founder of Boba Network, and I'm very excited to hear about what uh, Layer 2 solutions does Boba Network provide to the ecosystem. Hello, Alan. Hi, and thanks for having me. Um, it's an exciting day for you. I know that you have some things uh, cooking for the community. Um, perhaps you would like to introduce uh, briefly Boba Network and they then say some exciting things that are happening right now. Sure. Um, Boba Network is an Ethereum scaling and augmentation solution. And I'll speak more to what we mean by augmentation. But basically, we make Ethereum faster, cheaper, and enable developers to do more on Boba than what they can do on, on straight up Ethereum today. And uh, we started building Boba by, by actually uh, uh, taking over the OMG project. And what that means is we inherited the OMG community um, and also uh, uh, have this really engaged OMG token uh, group of token holders. Uh, OMG as a token is traded everywhere on all the exchanges and is one of the most widely held tokens. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, we have received a lot of community support to get us to this point. And today is our airdrop snapshot day uh, the, the, uh, where uh, we're taking a snapshot of all the other wallets that are holding OMGs. And that would determine who will receive these free Boba tokens. Oh, that's amazing. I do remember OMG was uh, dating a while back uh, and I held some OMG tokens myself. Uh, <laughs> Think in one of the wallets. So, how does it work? How did you migrate, or is there some relationship with the OMG network um, for for Boba? Yeah, what happened with OMG networks was they uh, they were acquired by an investment firm called Genesis Block Ventures, and uh, and then we partnered with GBV uh, to to uh, turn to to breathe new life into the project. Right. Okay. I see. So I'm um, very curious about the layer two scaling solution of Boba Network. You do apply optimistic rollups. Is that right? That's right. That's our, that's our architecture. Okay. And so how does it compare to Arbitrum, let's say, or Optimism? Yes. So uh, we are EVM equivalent. Uh, the core of, of Boba is based on OVM 2.0. So it's super easy for developers to migrate their existing Ethereum smart contracts over to Boba. But we built Boba not just to create another Me2 layer two solution. When we started, um, um, we, want, we, we took a hard look at what's constraining the growth of Ethereum. Certainly cost, certainly compute capacity, how many transactions you can do per second. Those are well-known issues and, that, and, and, and we have to address them. Those are table stakes issue. But there's one dimension that's been neglected and that is what can developers actually do, right? What can they actually build on Ethereum? And we believe that you know, to really fulfill the full potential of Ethereum, we have to be able to attract top developers from around the world who are machine learning experts, data scientists, to build the most amazing applications possible on Ethereum so that, so that more users will jump on board. But what you can do in a smart contract today is very limited. You can only do integer operations, and you have to be very careful about the complexity of your algorithms because quickly they become too expensive or too, and, and too slow to execute. So that's why we came up with an idea called hybrid compute that we'll be rolling out next quarter that allows smart contracts to trigger much more complex algorithms off chain, like running on AWS, for example, and then bring the results back into their smart contract. And that's why we call it hybrid compute because it is a hybrid model by right, on-chain and off-chain. And we give these powers to the developers and let them decide what they want to do in a smart contract and what they want to do off chain. And there are already teams talking to us, wanting to learn more about hybrid compute in order to do something such as running a risk assessment model off chain to help improve the DeFi protocol that they offer to their users. I see. Sounds very interesting. So you mentioned some specific applications. Uh, what is the status quo right now of applications on Boba Network? Uh, what is being developed and what are you targeting? Um, what kind of specific DeFi applications, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so certainly we want to offer the, a, a wide variety of, of DeFi applications to, to our users. And so we've, we've just launched a mainnet and the first Boba native AMM has just launched a few days ago called Oolong Swap, and uh, it 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 passed a million dollars trading, uh, twenty four hour trading volume in just a day. So um, our users are excited, and I think and and then one of the benefits of inheriting the OMG community, uh, for example, is they've been waiting for so many years 
right, for, for a network to emerge for things that they can do. And now, so this is, has finally become a reality. So they've all jumped in and we've seen our TVL on our network grow very quickly. It's been growing 80% 80, 80 week over week. So we're super encouraged by the early traction. And we want to continue to attract more and more DeFi developers. Um, a combination, we're talking to a combination of um, uh, established blue chip brands, as well as you know, new, new teams that want to build Boba native DeFi 2.0 uh, dApps as well. Yes, exactly. Uh, curious to know, is there a bridge to go to Boba Network? How does it work? And also to go back to Ethereum uh, mainnet, uh, is there a waiting time of seven days? How does this optimistic rollout work? That's a great question because uh, that's one of the, the drawbacks of the optimistic rollout approach is there's a seven day window they have to wait, right? And um, we, we really care about user experience. Actually, one of the reasons why we named the, pro the project Boba is because uh, we wanted to have a lighthearted, fresh, consumer-facing brand, and you know everyone smiles when they drink bubble tea. And we want, we also want Boba Network to evoke happiness when they use the network as well. So from from day one, we we uh, we wanted to address this seven-day window challenge, and and that's why we built our own Boba Native Fast Bridge for on-ramping and off-ramping that's based on liquidity pools that are set up on both sides, and anyone could participate in these liquidity pools and provide liquidity for on-ramping and off-ramping. And this is especially important in, in, in a withdrawal situation to get around the seven day window. So effectively what happens is the liquidity providers in the layer one pool are fronting the seven day risk. So as a user, when you exit, if you go through that fast bridge, you will withdraw your funds from that liquidity pool. And when your original funds become available in seven days, they come back into the pool to replenish it. So the credit providers are uh, fronting that seven day risk. And in return for that, for doing that work, the user pays a small fee to use that bridge and the fees are shared by the liquidity providers. I see. And, and what pairs do you offer right now for the bridge? What is the most popular? The most popular certainly is ETH and OMG, uh, of course, uh, but there are the, 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 the number of pair, the number of assets that are supported by the, uh, by the bridge is actually growing very rapidly. Just go to uh, uh, gateway.boba.network and you'll find out. Okay, very good, very good. And so OMG holders have been uh, happy in the last few days you've mentioned me before. Um, due to the airdrop, uh, the demand of OMG has been increasing. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. I still remember uh, when we first um, uh, took over the OMG project, it was trading at about $3 and now it's close to 20 yes. Wow. Well, congratulations. Obviously, we, we do believe that there will uh, be not only price action, which everybody is happy about, but uh, we do hope that um, uh, Boba Network will support many useful DeFi applications. It's really fantastic to see the Ethereum ecosystem developing so rapidly and enthusiastically. So thank you for taking this in initiative as well. I uh, want to ask, uh, you mentioned developers are very important to you. Are you launching any grant programs, any hackathons? Uh, how would you uh, want to attract developers to, to build on Boba? Yeah, definitely. I will be. So as soon as our token goes live, um, the to Boba token goes live, then uh, we'll be able to set up a grants program, ecosystem fund, not just by ourselves, but also with uh, our partners who are, who are eager to, to help us build a vibrant, Boba ecosystem. So we definitely will have those programs in place. And uh, we want to attract not, not only existing projects to come migrate to Boba, but also teams that want to build Boba native applications, especially when we start rolling out hybrid compute in, in the next quarter, we'll be hosting hackathons and welcoming developers to figure out what they can do with, mm -hmm. with these new powers that weren't available to them before. Uh, and we've been talking to a number of developers that we know um, kind of giving them a, a private preview to, to get some ideas from them. And we're, we're pretty amazed and pleasantly surprised by how creative they are. And for example, um, there's a quantum computing researcher uh, who's now looking at using hybrid compute to connect with quantum computing services to uh, create generative NFTs. When we first thought of the idea of hybrid compute, we never thought of that particular idea before. So I just can't wait to open that up and see what developers come up with. That's fantastic. Well, thank you for enabling this. Um, and for the community, uh, obviously you want to attract users. Uh, so if somebody was interested in Boba right now, uh, how can it uh, participate or she? Uh, Discord, obviously, participate in the, in the chats and maybe provide liquidity to the bridge. Uh, you know, what, what can user do now to get involved to Boba? 
Yeah, there are many ways to get involved. So there's Discord, um, there's Telegram. You can also provide liquidity in, in the FastBridge. Uh, we'll also be rolling out a DAO later this month, which we're super excited about. Um, uh, fundamentally, we take a very community-oriented approach and we treat our token holders really as stakeholders in, in the Boba, Boba ecosystem. So by rolling out a DAO, we're going to start uh, engaging with our token holders. And we, by the way, we're running this DAO on, on Boba itself, not on, not on, not on uh, layer one, which means it's, it's going to be much more affordable to vote on proposals, right? So, so making the whole process much more democratic and inclusive. And, and token holders that at the whole Boba tokens on the Boba network will be able to vote on proposals. And we'll start with you know, relatively simple decisions, such as the fee levels for the liquidity pools for the fast bridge, and, and you know, get the whole community uh, oriented and comfortable around joint decision making. And once we've got a good handle of that, then we'll increasingly turn over more and more decisions to, to the DAO. And um, you know, one of the decisions that we're coming up would be, so we've already made a public commitment that as the network ramps up and becomes consistently profitable, we'll be sharing some of the profits with Boba token holders who stake the tokens on, on the Boba network. So the details of that will be fleshed out in a proposal that we'll put forward to the DAO and we'll debate and we'll vote on it, right? It's not just our decision, it's the community's decision. And that we're the first layer two to do this. Amazing. And so right now, the most important communication channel is Discord for, for people to get involved at the early stage. Yes, that definitely. Whether you, you're a developer or a community builder, uh, want to help spread the word or, or build up like a local community. By the way, we have we want Boba to be a global community. So especially if you're a non-English speaker, you're excited about our vision, about our community orientation, and you want to you know, help spread the word of Boba amongst in, in your local region, please join us on, on Discord and, and volunteer, raise your hand and volunteer to set something up in your, in your area. Very good. Do you have some sort of ambassador, community ambassador program or something like this? We're putting one in place. So we welcome anyone with good ideas to, to come join us and, and co-create us together. Very nice. That's exciting. That's how people get involved in DAOs and that's how we build things from, uh, from ground up. Um, what is your view generally about crypto ecosystem right now? Obviously, exciting times to everyone. Um, Multi-chain ecosystem, Ethereum-centric. Uh, wh where are you going with your thoughts and ideology? So I, I come from a distributed systems background, and uh, I've worked on a couple of startups that, that actually uh, turned out quite well, um, building distributed system software products. And, and one thing I've learned uh, through those years is it's really hard to design one system that optimizes for all the variables. There are always trade-offs being made. Uh, and that's why we're seeing, even in, in the base layer world, in addition to Ethereum, we see a bunch of alternatives that optimize for different design attributes. And, and I think that's healthy for the overall ecosystem because you just, one size just doesn't fit all, which is why I, I do believe that it's gonna be a multi-chain world with different chains optimizing for different aspects of, of the network. And um, but that said, we do believe that Ethereum, given its head start and network effect, will continue to be the the, the dominant one. Uh, but it that doesn't mean that there's no room for other alternatives. Right. Okay. And this is well. Thank you very much for coming on the show and talking to me and talking to our community, introducing Boba Network. Uh, I wish all the success uh, to the community um, in the times of airdrop, and I do wish a good development, a good DeFi applications um, uh, to, for, uh, at Boba Network. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks again for having me. And remember, gateway.boba.network. I'll make sure I leave the links below. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah.